Hey gun people! Gonna do a uh, how to make this safety a little uh, smoother. So, uh, I got this Anderson AR. They were on sale for like 150 bucks, complete lower. So, I did that video on a 300 blackout. I got the barrel. I decided, what the hell? I'll just get a lower and uh, make it. So, when I got this lower, I mean, I like Anderson. I think they make a nice uh, AR. Got a little horsey there. Um, these pins were really tight and basically I just kind of pushed them in and out while I'm watching TV did that about a hundred times and now they're nice and loose they were really stiff before and uh, you know in the military the guns we take them apart they'd come across really easy and that's because we were always taking them apart and cleaning them and shooting them for years so if you just uh, do this a few times while you're watching uh, TV you'll notice um, that it gets a lot softer. I mean, before I had to use something to push that in, I couldn't do it. Now, I take my gun apart a lot, so I kind of clean it a lot. So I want these a little bit more easier to undo. But anyway, I am uh, talking about the safety here. The safety was really, really too crisp for me and really hard to put on and off. So I'm just going to do a, a, a quick video on how to... Uh, fix that safety issue. So what I did is got my little wrench here, take the butt plate off. When you take it off you're gonna see a little spring right here that's kinda of coming up there. And then after you screw this off your butt plate comes off. So the spring right there is for your safety you can see that and then right in here there's a little bitty detent pin that just fell out there and that little pin there is what holds your um, I don't know if that's focusing in on that or not but that's basically it can only go in one way so what happens is while your safety is stiff there's a little bitty hole I'll try to get the light here there's a little hole right here that it goes into and then when you twist it it slides in this groove here and so this is the safety going in and off so that's what the safety looks like so this little guy is the culprit now some people will say file that down and I do round it down a little bit but not a lot because I want it to catch so in order to make this soft here's a couple things I did one is uh, I took a little bit of sandpaper and I just kind of flatten this out a little bit and I used rough at first and I don't know if you can tell the difference or not I don't take much off I just kind of take off any rough edges there then I take some fine sandpaper here and I do the same thing and then because I've roughed it up with two different types of sandpaper I take my Dremel with a little um, of this flitz just get a little of that flitz on there and then I put a q-tip I just take a q-tip break it and then put it into the Dremel and then uh, almost use the 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 cardboard of the q-tip to kind of stick in these holes and then I just kind of stick it in this hole here kind of polish that up twist it the other one kind of polish that up and that's going to make it. And then if I want to go back and forth down that little track right there, there's a little track. And again, I'm only using like paper and a Q-tip, so I'm not really removing anything. I'm doing more polishing on this safety. And then after I do that, kind of squirt it down there a little bit with some oil get all that off um, I usually use this lithium grease but I, I couldn't find my lithium so I had some of this that somebody gave me a sample a long time ago I don't know what it is it's some new special improved whatever I can't remember I, some guy was like swearing by it so I said I'd try it so then I put some of that on my uh, safety I clean off after I polish that 
I kind of put that on there and just uh, because I put some uh, sandpaper on there, I just kind of smoothed that down a little bit. And then I did one other thing that people are going to freak out on. This spring is pretty damn long and stiff. And I mean, it is really stiff. So I took my little cutters. And everybody, don't ever cut it. Don't listen to people that cut springs. Eh, yeah, I do it on 1911. I mean, sometimes they go overboard. And I just cut off the very top. I can show you what I cut off. If I can get this little sucker up here. Can you see that? That's what I cut off. So it was just like the very edge. Now, when I cut part of that edge off, I don't want... I want the finished side pushing against that detent, not the side I cut. So, hell, I cut it so good I can't even tell now. But uh, if you can tell a finished end on a finished spring, if you ever cut a piece of spring, make sure that finished end is not doing the pushing, it's just doing the bracing. So, the side that goes down is not doing anything except putting pressure. The side pushing on this detent going up is I want nice and smooth but anyway uh, so taking that little that little spring off slide the safety back in here so I'll be like oh the polishing messed it up I'll oh, be quiet all right so the safety's in I got it set in there on safe I just hold that in take my little uh detent holder slide it in that little hole right there so it goes down and in and then put my spring back in the old pistol grip and then slide the old pistol grip with the spring to hold the detent screw your grip back in some hair around that so I can find it and then that's gonna slowly put pressure on that little spring right there see that spring right there where my thumbs at kind of pressing up closing putting that pressure on that safety and then my safety should be a lot smoother and it is man it was so hard before I could barely move it and I didn't you know if you want it softer you can go back and take a little more off but I, I, I want it kind of crisp for where it stays but I don't want it so hard that I gotta use two hands to do it so it's a lot softer and it's a lot quieter it's not clicking in there I mean I could actually make it a little bit softer but it was just so damn hard before yeah it's much better now when I'm holding in my normal position because that's how I go to safe that's how I go to fire so it's it's going over nice and nice and easy now alright so I'm okay with that so anyway that's how to soften up your safety on your AR uh, I know I'm gonna get all kinda heat about shouldn't woulda coulda spring where's that little spring that I cut off let me zoom in on that sucker Everybody be like, oh, he cut his spring. Shut up, you big dummies. Always crying about crap. Don't want to. Come on, baby. Come on. Focus in on that little sucker. Yeah, it's kind of hard to uh, focus in on it. Let's see if it'll. close and then come back out all right I don't know if you can see it anyway we'll end out there on that's how much spring I cut off not a lot all right softening up your safety in that there